Hello everybody. Today is Monday, October 17th. It is about noon time, 12, 12. I'm picking up a coffee, then I'm gonna get some gas and me and my dogs are driving to Massachusetts up to the Cape to John's cousin's house. I have to do a few things up there, pick up the equipment we left over the summer, finish closing the place up for the winter, and um, meet an electrician to do some work. And we were gonna do this last month and then I got sick and John was to Germany and then we had to reschedule the electrician because he had COVID. It was like a crazy, litany, long, long list of things. So we're good. We're good. We're gonna get the coffee, get the gas, and head out on the highway. Hopefully without any complications and traffic and that kind of thing. It's a pretty day for a drive. The foliage is in like, maybe it's peak right now. A little past, but it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So that's what I'm doing. Heading to the beach in the fall by myself. Weird. just listing things I'm grateful for every day. I've done this, I had quite a few of those piling up. Uh, so in episode 17, the last episode, I stress how important it is for you to ask for help and to communicate what that looks like. Like caregivers get so, so wound up. In it took us about just under four hours, like three something, but it was pouring rain and it was on, the, there was no traffic, but it was crazy, it was raining so hard. And we're here now, me and the dogs. It's very strange. And uh, there's a guy coming tomorrow to do the smoke detectors. I don't know how long I'm gonna stay. It's a ghost town, it's kind of weird. But uh, I brought my carpet shampooer, so I'm gonna give it a whirl over the rugs and make them look really pretty. And we're gonna stay in here and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the master alone because it's nice and clean in there and just keep the door closed so that I don't have to clean that whole space back there. And uh, yeah, it's very quiet. Anyway, everything's fine. It's perfect. Just going to wait for the guy to come tomorrow. There's a friend that I met next door. She happens to be up here. And we're just hanging out. Good morning, world. We had a rough night. We had a thunderstorm in the middle of the night and it woke Henry up and he went crazy. <laughs> it was terrible. I'm having some work done now with the electrician. And then Henry, Holly and I might go for a walk on the beach beach. Hi friends. So in the spirit of exploration, I'm at Nauset Beach, N-A-U-S-E-T, and there is probably one, two, three cars here, that's it. And we're gonna go look at the Atlantic Ocean. Normally when we're at the Cape, just so you know, we're on the inside of the Cape in what's called Cape Cod Bay, which also eventually gets to the Atlantic Ocean. It, in the distance but this is the other side where it's just open ocean gonna see what I can see I have a backpack here I've got some water for them and my camera and my binoculars just in case I want to look at something but who knows I'm gonna put my raincoat on because it looks like it might rain um, I wanted to say uh, today's also my mother um, my mother's birthday Today's October 18th. She would have been 80 today. And so I'm on my own with the dogs feeling a little bit sad, but not really sad. Like sad in terms of missing her, but kind of reverent, I guess. Just trying to be in the moment and take in this beautiful, glorious place that I'm at. And then, all right, but let's go explore some views. Ready, team? Ready to, ready to go see the beach? Beach? All right.
If I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? Would it change for the better? If I wrote you a poem, if I posted a fantastic day we've had. All these places we've never seen before. Oh, we're gonna have to walk back up this. That's okay. So I am now, I, let's see, I was home earlier, did some work, you know, cleaning the rugs with my carpet shampooer at the house, and I don't have to do that, but I just, I don't know, I feel 
good because it looks good. It looks really good. Anyway, um, I took the dogs for a nice walk down on the beach and Todd was out so Holly wasn't afraid because she doesn't like the waves as we found out yesterday. Now I'm at the, um, the Museum of Natural History here which is like a, a couple miles away from where I'm staying and I came here a lot with Daniel. It's kind of our favorite little um, activity that we do because they had that. If you look at my vlogs from the summer, it had a, uh, God, I can't talk today. It had a, an aquarium on the lower level. It has some hiking trails out in the marsh, which maybe I'll do a little walking. We'll see. But I brought this tooth that I have that I think might be a whale's tooth. And I thought maybe this is a museum. They have bones here. Maybe somebody will know. So I'm just going to go here, walk around, maybe visit their gift shop and, um, pick up a, maybe a few trinkets for Christmas or something yeah yeah it's just something I've been wanting to do is to verify what this thing is that I found and so we'll see anyway it's a beautiful day it's cool it's like barely 60 degrees like 55 56 something like that and just crisp fall I'm going tomorrow I'm leaving in the morning so I'm gonna just sweep through the house pack up my stuff um, Make sure there's nothing uh, perishable or expired. Clean everything up and then lock it up and head back home. Hopefully it all fits. And then I'm going to stop by to see Thomas. We're going to have lunch. And then I'm going to head home from Boston to Connecticut again. And that will end my little adventure for this week. Look at my eye. <laughs> it looks worse than it feels. Okay, so I went to the... Um, They were just closing, so I couldn't walk and look at the museum and take a walk. But they did call um, one of the people who work there up to the desk, and she verified that this is not a tooth. It's actually a piece of a uh, giant clam. And she showed me why, and she said it does look like, you know, I understand how you got, got it mixed up. But... I don't know sometimes I look at pictures and I'm like are you sure but she said it's because of the ridges that it looks like a giant clam but I don't know regardless of whether it's clam or tooth I'm gonna call it shell tooth and it's still my little good luck charm um, yeah so so I just um, stopped by my I have a, I have a friend here now two friends her and her husband I gave him one of Dale's ornaments because I had a couple of them in my bag and um, yeah they thought that was fun anyways I'm just taking a walk with the dog I don't know what time the sun sets but it's um it happens fast here so we're gonna go down there and hang out for a few minutes by this thing it's getting cold out here they said the temperature was dropping. They were not kidding. It's colder than it was when I was at the beach.